Sugar Pie. Everybody give a round of applause for Sugar Pie. She's so sweet. <laughs> what? Okay, so um, I want to first uh, express my, uh, my honor and appreciation for the invitation to join you today in this historic occasion uh, of resurrecting Harlem Pride and uh, not only uh, announcing it, but also reminding us of the history of uh, the gay community in Harlem and its contributions not only to the communities and families of Harlem, but also to the communities and families of this city, this state, and even this nation. It's a great, great tradition that we're experiencing today. And I'm honored to be the state senator representing this community on the occasion of this historic moment. And, and, and I want to thank everyone uh, for the opportunity to be a part of it, whether you're my constituent or not. If you live in Harlem, say hello. hello. If you don't live in Harlem, say hello. Hey. Because as far as I'm concerned, I represent you anyway. So all of you have a state senator by the name of Bill Perkins. And I don't care if you live in Harlem or not, I just am so honored to represent you and I want you to Use me in any way that I can to move the agenda forward. Don't feel this because you don't live in my district that you can't reach out to me. Uh, you can, and I look forward to it. What I want to do right now is recognize one of our uh, important groups that um, we honored this, this, uh, this uh, week in Albany. We made a, 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 a very, very important legislative resolution in which uh, I presented uh, a proclamation uh, uh, for a resolution, and I want to read the resolution, uh, which is sponsored by all of my colleagues. Some of you may know Tom Dwayne, amongst who is amongst them. Um, the, it's the we're honoring Sage on the occasion of their designation for special recognition during Pride Month. Come on up here, those of you who are here representing Sage. So we are. Uh, Honoring Sage upon the, rec the, upon the occasion of their designation for special recognition during Pride Month. Whereas it is the sense of this legislative body to recognize and applaud those cultural events within the state of New York which serve to celebrate diversity and in doing so help to enfranchise minority populations within the larger community of humanity. And whereas attendant to such concern and in full accord with its long-standing traditions, this legislative body is justly proud to honor services and advocacy for gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender elders, also known as SAGE, upon the occasion of their designation for special recognition during Pride Month. And whereas programs like SAGE become an important safety net for LGBT elders incorporated by lesbian and gay activists and aging service professionals in 1978 as senior action in a gay environment, also known as SAGE, is the world's oldest and largest nonprofit agency addressing the needs of lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender elders. And whereas since the, its inception, SAGE has pioneered programs and services for seniors in the LGB community, provided technical assistance and training to expand opportunities for LGBT elder people across the country, and provided a national voice on LGBT aging issues. And whereas today, there are a growing number of retirement communities, senior housing, and other high-end housing options targeting LGBT seniors. But for hundreds of thousands of LGBT seniors who will be aging in place in their own communities, SAGE programs and services provide the link they need to a safe and welcoming community. And whereas the SAGE Harlem Neighborhood Program is considered a NORC, which is a naturally occurring retirement community, the program strives to create safe space for LGBT seniors in Harlem and those that identify with them by producing opportunities for recreation and socializing 
providing social services and support, facilitating educational opportunities, and pioneering with neighborhood senior centers to raise visibility and to improve the quality of services. And whereas our society is greatly benefited by the purposeful efforts of individuals who unite for the cause of improving the quality for others, of life for others, and who proactively work toward the goal of dignity and for all, now therefore be it resolved that this legislative body pause in its deliberations to honor SAGE upon the occasion of their designation for special recognition during Pride Month and be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution suitably engrossed, engrossed by be transmitted to SAGE adopted in the Senate on June 24, 2010 by order of the Senate Yours truly, Senator Bill Perkins. Bravo! Okay, so now uh, what we do is we get a photo op. Number one. So in addition to this uh, resolution, which I've had the honor of uh, preparing and presenting to my, today and, and, and having voted on in, uh, in the Senate, I'm also honored that tomorrow I will be attending uh, the Pride March and will be working, wa walking with SAGE. So it's a great, great weekend for me. And then from there, I have to go right back up to Albany. But, you know, pray for me. <laughs> Introduce yourselves and say a few words. I'm Ruby Fernandez Brown, I'm the Sage Harlem Program Manager. Uh, I'm Maya Smith, um, I'm the Intake Coordinator Program Analyst uh, at our main office on 305 7th Avenue. I'm happy to be up here representing Sage. I'm Sherman Walker, a uh, volunteer for Sage. We're at, uh, oh, you know, at Bring it closer to, to your mouth. mouth. Bring it closer to your mouth. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Forgot. <laughs> Uh, we have a table at the other end of the block, and we have an office in uh, the Teresa Towers. We look forward to seeing anybody who would feel we could be useful to them. Thank you again. Very good. And then I'm going to ask Michael Adams. I want Michael Adams to please step forward. Michael Adams is a member of my staff. I'm very honored that we have someone step on the stage, Michael, so they can see you. I know you're not shy. So this is Michael Adams. He's a member of my staff. I want everyone in the community to know that he's there available for you in any way that my office can be helpful. Uh, we're located right here at the State Office Building on 125th Street uh, on the ninth floor. So do not hesitate to come. It's your constituent services office. If you have meetings that you want to have in my office and you don't have a place, our office is available to you. We have a lot of space. You can come and use that space on the weekends. You can come and use it in the evenings. Just don't hesitate to get in touch with us. And of course, the liaison for you in, in the community is Michael Adams. Thank you so much. Appreciate your cooperation. Love you all.